How to Wiz IQ Basic Training Lesson 230 Graph and Highlighter Tools. Okay, as you know, I like to start here. All right, here's the graph tool. Now, as you can see, we have graph paper already on our um, whiteboard. And let's get rid of that because, say, we don't need the whole board, we just want a specific area to have some graph paper to work with. Maybe you're going to set up a couple of problems. Now we can um, set up a graph. I suppose the line tool would be better. Here's our x-axis. Here's our y-axis. And here is negative 1, 1, 2, 3, positive 1, a slope intercept of um, 1, comma, 0. Oops. Um, we can do some standard slope things. Plus, you can do a little drawing. A nice to have graph paper to have a background for drawing. Nothing too fancy with that. We can use the select tool. Once we're done with the drawing, we can cut that background shape out of there. And what else were we going to look at this time? Oh, the highlighter. Where is the highlighter? I had a highlighter. Wonder. All right, I'm going to pause this recording. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> the tool wasn't available because there was nothing to highlight in its opinion. First, let's see if we just create some text, if then it gives it to us. Hello, world. My name is George. Okay, now, let's see. Nope, it didn't give it to us here. So let's go into almost any other kind of document, and boom, there is our highlighter tool. Now we can change the size of the highlighter and the color. Let's change the color, and we've got highlighting. Boy, that sure is very light color green, isn't it? Let's look in a different type of document. This is a PowerPoint slide still kind of lighter than I would have thought. Let's see what a yellow looks like. Or maybe a green. And let's make it bigger. Yeah, it does its purpose. So that's it. We've got the, um, with this one we simply looked at the graph, creating a graph tool. You can also check aspect ratios too, I think, with the graph tool. Uh, so that you can, the graph tool does not cover the picture behind. So um, that can help you, you graphic people, you artsy-fartsy people. You can probably get a lot more out of those things than I do. Math people, I don't care what you guys get. <laughs> All right, that's it for this lesson. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have eraser and special effects coming, special shapes coming up next. Bye-bye.